Hey everybody, Melly here. So Grayson is taking a nap. So hopefully you guys can hear me in this video. Um, I decided to not do the video out in the car today. So hopefully I'm not talking too low, but I do not want to wake him up. He actually has not been napping in like three days now. So now that he's down for a nap, I'm like, yes, I cannot wake him up. Please do not wake him up. So sorry, you guys, if you can't hear me. I hope you guys can hear me, though. Um, yeah, check out my hair today, you guys. Isn't it cute? Flat twist. No afro for the day. We didn't really do much today. We're just hanging out. Just chilling. Just drinking on my protein. You guys, Premier Protein is amazing. Um, my favorite flavor is cookies and cream. Hopefully you guys can see that. I also love the chocolate. The vanilla isn't that bad either, but you know, they have caramel, they have banana, and they have something else, but strawberry or peaches, I think. I wouldn't do that, that's just me. But you know, if you guys are trying to get your protein in, this is a good way to do it and it's delicious. So that's pretty much, you know, what this day has been. Just a really laid back day. We really haven't done much of our normal routine like we normally would. Um, you guys let's talk about what happened yesterday so me and gray attend a stem school on thursdays it's for parents and the child to come and like the first two hours we're together we're like it's like school um we're doing school activities together working together and then the last hour of the class the parents separate and go be with the other parents and the kids stay together with the two teachers and they continue to work on it and it is a really great class i love it um stem science technology engineering and math i love it um he's getting to learn how to use his hands and make things building things and He's better with observing, so I love that class. However, yesterday I chose to stay home and take another healing day since I am two weeks out of surgery now. Um, so his dad took him and he had a great time. He was really excited to go. Um, I was really sad to let him go because normally I'm with him because you know I'm a stay at home mom, but he went with his dad yesterday and you guys, I relaxed I had such a great time like talk about self-care I just really enjoyed myself for those three hours of just not hearing mommy mommy this mommy where are you and I used the bathroom without him at the door or talking to me it was amazing you guys it was so amazing um however my baby came home super excited to see each other and he told me that a boy hit him and I'm like, a boy hit you? And he says, yeah, he punched me. And you guys, I thought at first, like, maybe he's making this up. Maybe he's just, you know, talking because he's three. But still, I don't doubt anything my baby says. Um, so I, you know, I asked him a few more questions. Like, you know, where was it? He said it was at the playground. And, you know, it was other kids around. And he didn't cry. He just got up and ran away. And you guys, I'm like kind of like, okay, well, I'm thinking it's a kid in his class. Now, his STEM class is for children who are two to three years old. That's it. So I, I know all the kids in the class. So I said, well, who was it? He said, I don't know. So I'm like, okay, well, you know all the kids in your class. Well, what does he look like? Oh, he's brown like you, mama. And you guys, Grayson is the only African-American kid in his class. So I'm just like there's no new kid so what are you you know talking about Grayson says that he was bigger he's brown and he's not in his class okay so I'm thinking okay oh my gosh I'm getting a little frustrated now you guys I'm getting so irritated like how dare this kid who does he think he is who is he who is this child out there hitting on my kid and then for Grayson to say he was punched I was like ticked off like you guys have no idea like anyone that knows me knows I'm like a lion I will attack over my baby like I'm not playing so I realized that as we were talking here on his little bridge of his nose I guess you can call it it was black and purple and it started to swell and it was really swollen and it hurt 
also you guys on his left leg was a bruise as well so now i'm 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 like oh my gosh i'm petrified i'm upset i get up i throw my sweater on we go back to the school i talk to his teachers and it's not <laughs> what i thought and i'm so happy that it's not what i thought because you guys i was trying my hardest not to cry i'm thinking that oh my gosh my kid is being bullied oh my gosh there's a bigger kid what happened was Grayson's class, the two-year-olds and the three-year-olds, they were really energetic towards the end of class. So the teachers decided to take them outside. However, there were three preschool classes out there at the time. And these are four or five-year-olds. Um, they're bigger than my baby, of course. So apparently one of the kids was on this little Tarzan swing type ride that's at the playground. And Grayson was running around chasing one of his friends in his class. And as Grayson ran over to the boy on the little Tarzan swing, um, the boy falls off of it. So it has a really hard kind of like plastic metal, it's kind of filled with sand. It's really heavy, the base that you stand on and swing off of. Um, Grayson ran over and just as the boy fell off, the thing swung and hit Grayson in the head and it knocked him down. So him and the boy are on the ground. However, the boy, the older boy, was really hurt bad. Grayson panicked and jumped up and ran away. So he actually did run away, you know. Um, but he said a big boy had did it. It was a total accident. You guys, the relief that I felt when the teachers told me that. I still was really upset and I still, I'm still kind of irritated because I feel like he's three and you guys have six children in the class. And why are they outside with two, I mean, three preschool classes? These kids are bigger, they're older. And if you guys only have six kids to watch and it's two of you, how did this happen? How did my three-year-old end up with a group of preschoolers and he's injured and then you guys didn't even know that he was injured? And, you know, I had a talk with Grayson and I let him know, like, next time you get hurt, you need to tell the teachers, you know, you go tell the teachers. But he really wanted to come home and tell me and tell his dad because... You know, he, of course, we're his safe people. He trusts us. But still, it's just like, baby, you have to tell the teachers because I was ready to go up there and I was ready to turn that school upside down. You know, I wasn't going to hurt no child, of course, but I still wanted to know what's wrong. My kid's three years old. Why? You know, I'm like I said, he said he was punched, but he wasn't punched. Um, and then he told me there was other kids standing there looking at him. It actually, that's all it was. It was kids waiting to take turns on the little swing thing. Grayson ran over, the boy fell off, and it was a big accident. It was really bad, but Grayson's okay. Um, hopefully the other little boy is okay. I heard it was, I heard he was really hurt. Um, but Grayson's, you know, the tiny one. So that's why it's like a big concern. So we did file a incident report at the school and the teachers did let me know that they would not take the little kids out again when it's the bigger preschools or if it's like um, more than one preschool class. And I agree, like that was three preschool classes with little, little kids, two year old, three year olds. It's like, come on you guys, that's way too much. So, oh, you guys, you have no idea, like, what was going through my mind I'm like oh my gosh someone's bullying my baby and I do not I, I frown upon bullying like it's not okay I cannot do it if and I don't like I don't even agree with little kids playing with older kids like that bothers me as well because I feel like older children they play but then they play too rough for a little kid and the little kid can't really play as rough as they can and then they end up hurt but that wasn't the case it was a big accident and I just feel so much better but all I want to say to the mamas out there you guys listen to your babies their stories may sound crazy or may not sound but there's some truth in it because Grayson was telling the truth but the way he was telling me the story it was kind of like it was far-fetched it was like okay this happened but this part may not happen like the swing actually hit him and he said the boy hit him the boy punched him so but he wasn't punched but that's you know he's three that's his way of like hey this happened I really don't know what to say happened you know but now that I know what happened it's like oh my gosh you guys <laughs> I feel so much better you know but and you know he came home too and he wouldn't even take a nap like I told you guys he hasn't been napping he wouldn't nap at all so it's just kind of like good as long as you don't have any concussions or anything you're fine and today he woke up and he's just his regular 
loud everywhere self but we we just kind of had a laid back day today so i'm happy my baby's okay and you know that's pretty much it for today we're not really doing much just hanging out still and i don't think we have any more plans for the rest of the day i don't know we'll see also guys if you're new to my channel please subscribe and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you can be updated when we upload new videos 